What up, everybody? So, um, we just got home from church, and I wanted to real quickly, like, try a little three-minute uh, video. Um, Bria, my daughter, they usually have, like, a thing of donuts out for kids and adults. Um, they usually have about, it's like half frosty and half sugared. The half frosty ones were all out. The half sugared ones, there's still, like, 15, 20 of them. She didn't want one of the, the sugar ones. So I was like, okay, well, that, that'll be your choice. She's like, well, can you go find me something else? And I'm like, no, that's what you can either have and be grateful for it or choose not to eat that and you'll be hungry. But we got about, I don't know, halfway through the church service. Um, she started laying her head on my lap and looking at me and, dad, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And I was like, Brianna, I'm trying to focus on God and fellowship with other people. If you're really that hungry, then go back out there and grab one of those donuts that you don't like. Because a hungry person would snatch them donuts up quick. I mean, if I took that box around a hungry kid, they're, mm, 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 I mean, they will mouth them down. And I was like, you're not really hungry. You're picky. You're a spoiled little American brat. Like, and I say this a lot of the time, not, not to be offensive to America or your kids or anything else, but this is what I'm talking about, that spoiled one. I know I have a spoiled one in here somewhere. But you can't just give your kids whatever they want, and then that's how they start to act. I told her, you know what? You woke up this morning. You had every opportunity to eat a big breakfast at home because we're, we're blessed. That's a blessing. Count your blessings. Be thankful for the things that you have. But if you don't listen to me at home, you didn't eat a breakfast like you should have. I told you multiple times to get breakfast. They get nibble on like a little snack. Then we get to church, and it's always the same thing. It's, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Um, I'm, go I'm coming to church to fill up on the Word of God on, you know, like real nourishment. But... She was hungry, and I did not cave to her. I wasn't going to go look for something in the kitchen because one time she didn't feel very good, so she didn't eat, and I did go look for crackers once, I'm, so I'm not, like, a horrible parent. But th this time, I, w I wasn't caving. Like, if you want something that bad, if you're really that hungry, then you will walk your little spoiled butt up out of the pew, go to the thing, and get the donut and eat it. <laughs> it is literally that simple. Like, so don't spoil your kids. Don't cave into whatever they want. If there's something out... And they don't want to eat that because they don't like the taste of it. Then that'll be on their problem. Their, their tummy will hurt until they get lunch, which I made her wait all the way till lunch. And we had a thing after church, too, where I had to talk for a minute. And she's, Dad, please, don't it. Not, well, now they're all out. They're all out now, Dad. Well, I'm sorry for you, but that's what happens. Be thankful. Be grateful. Teach our kids to be grateful and thankful. I mean, we, we get to ride around in cars. There's people that don't have them. We get to eat little munchies all over the place. Like... I mean, we're all kind of spoiled in America. I'm sorry. Like, and if you don't see that, then you you might be a spoiled person. Because, I mean, it, kicking and screaming and throwing little tantrums over little stupid things is not worth it. God gave you your first two blessings when you woke up your eyes. You opened them, hit the ground running, and be thankful for that. Love y'all.